What's up? This is the J-Man Show. I'm your host, Jai Bino. My guest today is, is the actor, producer of director, Kelly Perrin. For, 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 for Fun and Parenthood, one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, Kelly. Welcome to the show. Thank you for coming to the show. I appreciate it. Good to see you, brother. Hey, man. You know, thank you so much for thinking about me. Thank you for having me. To all the your viewers and fans out there, what's up? High five to all of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know. So, okay. So, um, my, I guess my first question is, what made you want to become an actor and how did you get started in, in, in the business? Well, you know what? I'm originally from uh, cent some, from central Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. uh, you know, my dad uh, taught at Penn State, mm -hmm. so I grew up there, and he was actually a performer. My father was a performer. He did a lot of uh, community theater. He did a lot of uh, musicals, that type of thing. So by the time I was three, four, five, I was already, you know, up on stage, you know, because I would go with my dad to the, you know, rehearsals and the performances and that type of thing. And, you know, you know eventually I you know, got dragged up on stage. And um, I was a kid who liked attention, <laughs> you know, both, both positive and negative. Yeah. And I realized, you know what, you can do this theater thing and you can get positive attention, uh, you know, and not get your honey whooped. <laughs> so I go, let me go ahead and, you know, continue doing this. So from the time I was four or five, I was on the stage, I was doing musicals, I was doing community theater. And so that's how I kind of got into it. I went to school um, for high school outside of Chicago. And then when I came to California, I went to uh, Pomona College to go to school. And I did a lot of uh, improv comedy and theater. And then I went to UC Irvine, which is that to get my master's in drama. And so, you know, by the time I was a sophomore, junior in high, in, in, in college, I said, okay, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm going to try to get as good as I can at it. So, you know, really, I've been performing since I was four or five years old. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how'd you get your, uh, how, how'd you get your role on one-on-one on one in, in a parenthood? And what was that work with, work with Flex and on Robert Townsend? Because those are some, some awesome people. Who I, I, oh, you, you know, it, it, those two shows, I'll, I'll take them, I'll take them one at a time. Um, you know, luckily I've, you know, been able to be on a lot of really good shows, work with like, you know, iconic people. Cause I know Robert Townsend was somebody that I watched growing up. Yeah. Um, and so I got a chance to, um, in the last season of uh, the show, The Parenthood, they say, hey, do you want to you come on and do you want to play Robert Townsend's brother? I'm like, oh, of, co of, course, I, <laughs> of course I do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so it was Robert Townsend who did everything, you know, from like Hollywood Shuffle mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, Meteor, uh, Meteor Man, I believe it was. And so he was one of those people that was fighting for folks like me to have representation in the industry. So I, you, so for the, the season I was there, I would really would kind of try to soak up as much as I could from him. Mm -hmm. Because when you're a pioneer, like Robert, you know, is a pioneer, you, you, you kind of want to try to figure out, you know, what, what it is he's doing. And there's a fearlessness mm -hmm. that, that he had that's like, look, I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm going to tell you like it is Hollywood needs to go ahead and represent us mm -hmm. in a way that's different than they've been representing us. And yeah. uh, so I'd go to work every day and I got to, you know, work alongside a legend and I got to learn from him. And it was just fantastic every day working with, you know, Robert Townsend. And to this day, and the beauty of a lot of the shows that I've worked on, I've stayed friends with a lot of the people that I work with. So to this day, you know, Robert Townsend and I, you know, are, are, are good friends. I'm, I'm not going to say he's going to pick me up from the airport, <laughs> yeah. you know, but, but he's, he's, he's a good friend of mine. And so one-on-one uh, -on -one was um, a, a different thing in that I auditioned for one-on-one. -on -one, mm -hmm. uh, and I remember it was, uh, I was one or two years out of school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember that it was Tommy Davidson who I knew from, in Living Color, because I was watching Living Color. I'm like, oh man, it's Tommy Davidson. Mm -hmm. uh, then there was Kadeem Hardison, who was from, you know, a different world, and Dwayne Wayne, and, you know, I, you know iconic, a different world. Uh, Dondre Whitfield, who, you know, was coming off of, you know, the Cosby show and the ABC, sh you know, uh, um, one of the ABC um, soap operas. So, you know, these were like three big, big name cats and me. <laughs> you know, like, I'm like fresh out of school. I'm like, what, what, what did I do? One of these things is not like the other. Yeah. Uh, but I was like, wow, man, this is, you know, thank you, whoever up there, 
-hmm. for letting me be part of this of this collective and thank you you know yonetta boone was the name of the executive producer so thank you yonetta for believing that i could go ahead and hold my own with these three yeah. um other heavyweights you know yeah. and again it was another situation where i was sitting there going let me just let me let me learn as much as i can from these guys mm -hmm. um let me you know let me be you know a sponge and let me just absorb you know because tommy davidson is is, is, qu is quick as they come yeah. uh you know and dondre straight professional you know and you know mm -hmm. and uh kadeem it was it was so great to work with them and i and, and, and you know a lot of times i was on set i'm like and i would look around and i'd be like look this, look at this kid from you know from central pennsylvania yeah. this <laughs> kid who did community theater this kid who was just happy to get a couple lines in the play uh and look at me here with these with these hollywood heavyweights who who i watched and who i you know, idolized, and I'm, you know, my name is said in the same sentence as theirs, so it was very, very humbling, and to this day, I feel very blessed that I was able to be a part of that. Absolutely, because I actually met, I actually met Tom Davidson, he was a nice guy, you know, I saw him on the show in Boston, he was so nice <laughs> to talk for a bit, yeah, so, yeah, and so, just, good. Say, yep, so, he was saying, yeah, so, um, I guess my, my next question for you is, um, it, it, it is what are you working on right now, are you working on any of the project TV shows, and for, for, uh, are you staying staying those because 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 of, cause of the, the 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 current situation with with with, with the coronavirus going on? Well, well, when you, look. The thing is, you know, the, when 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 COVID hit, mm -hmm. uh, for me as a as an artist, mm -hmm. um, I was I was used to you know not being you know for going a couple months without work, <laughs> you know, because that's that's what we actors do. Yeah. You know, we audition and then you know something goes and then we have to look for our next thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, so during COVID, I've actually been lucky in that I just got finished doing uh, an episode of Family Reunion okay. with um, uh, with uh, Richard Roundtree, um, it, a, a great cast, one of the girls from uh, Sister Sister. Oh wow! Uh, Tia Maori, I do believe. Um, so you know, Hollywood is trying to figure out how it's going to open back up safely. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of places are shutting back down, and so Hollywood, you know, was trying to figure that out as well. But, mm -hmm. but the show I just did, they were very diligent about testing folks and wearing masks and wearing face shields and and, and, and that type of thing. So, so I'm I'm very lucky to be in an industry here in Hollywood where they're taking it, you know, taking it seriously. We're trying to we're trying to we all want to be back to work. Sure, that's that's a given, but we want to make sure we go back to work safely. Yes. So I was able to do that. I've been able to do a couple of other, you know, short film projects where everybody is also taking it, you know, very, very uh, seriously. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I also actually wrote a book. I wrote a book during the, uh, during the pandemic. I didn't actually start out to write a book. Uh -huh. um, it was like a daily journal mm -hmm. uh, of what was going on in terms of the coronavirus, in terms of um, politics because you know we just we just got through a crazy election and so some of my thoughts on the election and right. and and that type of stuff so for 230 straight days i was chronicling what was going on and i'm going to turn that into a book that's going to come out in 2021 so i'm you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm keep i'm keeping it busy as as an artist you always have to try to create your own work yeah. because you're going to hear a lot of no's out there mm -hmm. and you know you just let it roll off your back and you got to keep going so I've uh, been trying to stay stay busy, and luckily, knock on wood, I've been able to stay busy while, you know, all this coronavirus craziness is going on. Well, that's definitely good. Um, so, are, are you going to do a, a book tour for your books? A book tour anytime soon? So, say again? Are, are you, you, you going to be doing a, a, a book tour for your book? A, a book? Well, you, you, you know what? I think the book's probably going to come out in in late 2021. So maybe, you know, in 2022, after after the vaccine gets out, Right. There, because um, look, man, I'm a person who likes to press the flesh. Yeah. I love to hug people. I love to shake hands. I love to do all that, you know. And so, I mean, I'm I, I love meeting folks doing on the Zoom, but but I, I love being in the room and and hugging. For, hey, how are you? Here, sign the book. Let me hug you. Yeah. So maybe in 2021, uh, 2022, you know, when when things open back up, I'll I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a book tour. Oh, that sounds good. Cause I look forward to meeting you too. You know, so yeah. And yeah, so 
So um, um, I just my next question is on um, what advice can you give me and and other artists that want to be an actor like you or be famous? You know, what advice can you give me? You know, because I'm also look, looking to to try, try and get on a flight to California and maybe meet you, maybe audition for you actually, because that's why I want to talk to you because I'm really in, in, I'm passionate about, about, about music and through acting. You know, so yeah, any advice you? Well, well, you know, you know, the, the advice I would give to you is the advice I would give to any 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 artist. Mm -hmm. Um, anyone who believes that the, their heart and soul is expressed in no other greater form than when they're performing, yes. when they're acting, when they're singing, when they're playing their violin, when they're playing their guitar, when they're writing, when they're behind, and you know, when they're in the, on their keyboard and they're bringing words on a page that has that no one else has. has these 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 are the arts. We're artists, mm -hmm. and so once you finally decide that, hey, you go, you know what? I'm going to try to make a living as an artist, which is, which is, it is difficult, but the most, you know, maybe the most difficult thing is to go ahead and just decide, yeah. decide that because you're going to have so many people to tell you, oh, you shouldn't do that. Take the easy route. There's yeah. other ways, get a good job. You're here, you're going to leave here. You're going to go to Hollywood. Why are you doing that? What are you, what are you thinking there's going to be a lot of voices in your head that tells you not to go after your dream. Mm -hmm. The voice you need to listen to is the voice in your head that says, this is what I'm supposed to do. And I need to go after this. Yeah. And if that means you need to go ahead and, you know, take more acting classes or take music classes or take dance lessons or singing lessons, whatever it is that you need to do to become good at the art that you have decided to make your life, you have to do. Yes. You have to get that training. You have to take those lessons. And, you know, being an artist is a leap of faith mm -hmm. that um, you have something to offer to the world and you have a voice that needs to be heard. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's people that, you know, need you, their voices. They want to be a politician. So they want to do public policy or they want to do, that's fantastic. Uh, there's other people that want to be lawyers or doctors because they want to, you want to help people in, in, in the courtroom or, or in the hospital. And that's fantastic. As artists, we have a calling mm -hmm. the same way a doctor, a lawyer, um, a pediatrician, you know, anything, a bricklayer has a calling. Mm -hmm. And if you come to understand, to understand that your calling is your art, acting, singing, writing, producer, if that's your calling, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Mm -hmm. Surround yourself with people that understand it. Mm -hmm. Don't fight it and make yourself as good as possible at it because there are ways that you can become better at anything you decide to do. So that would, that would be my advice to any artist. Okay, absolutely. I definitely appreciate, you know, that's, you know, definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, so what do you like to do for fun in the spirit of time when you're not acting before? What do you like to do for fun or travel? Well, yeah, yeah, you know, before the pandemic, you, you know, I, I, I do, I do, I love to travel. I, um, you know, people tell me that there are places in the world that exist, and until I see them, I don't believe them. <laughs> so, so I, I do, I do like to travel a lot. Years ago, I was, um, you know, running marathons. Just, you know, I, I didn't win them, uh -huh. but I was just running them to stay in shape and stuff. And so that gave me an excuse to actually travel to different places. You know, ran ran marathons over in you know London. Uh, in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. uh, all throughout the United States. I love, to, I love, you know, to travel, to do, you know, to run in different places. Um, I've been to, I want to say, four continents. I, I got a couple more to, more to get to. Mm -hmm. And especially after um, the pandemic, I'm like, okay, I got to, I got to, you know, I got to get on a plane and I got to go someplace and I have to make sure that I understand that, that people are people, no matter where they live. So I do love to travel. Um, some of my other hobbies are I, I, I like to golf. I'm not, I'm not great at it, but, uh, but I enjoy that. That's about as, you know, outdoorsy as I get. I don't go on hikes, but I mean, outdoors, you know, playing some golf. That's, that's my outdoorsy mm -hmm. time. Um, um, golf. I like, I like playing cards. So I like, you know, my folks lived in Vegas for a good long time. Mm -hmm. So I like, yeah, I, play, I like playing poker. You know, so I, I enjoy the mind games, trying to figure out, you know, who's doing what. So I have a number of number of hobbies that uh, that that you know that, that keep me busy. Kind of a, a lot of my hobbies are kind of brain stimulative, you mm -hmm. know, like poker and you know different like you know word games and number games and 
you know, and that, and that type of thing. So, yeah. That's good, you know, yeah. I understand, because my hobbits, my hobbits include, you know, making videos, proofs, and sing songs to rapping me yeah, outside. So I, I definitely feel you, um, yeah. Nice. So, so what do you think we can do to change the world more better in your opinion? How can we change the world for the next generation? How, how can I change the world for the next generation? Yeah, 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 no, not true, but not true, but, but me and, and, and everyone together. How can we all change the world? But it was, well, you, you, know, you know what I think? You know what I think can change the world? I think if there is a movement of collective kindness. Mm -hmm. Look, that, 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 was, that, was, that was my phone. That was God saying, yes, I was right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I believe there needs to be a movement of collective kindness. And I think we can all, um, in our own individual way, with how we interact and, and deal with people, mm -hmm. just simply be more kind. I think, you know, without getting political, last few years, there has been the opposite of that. There have been people that have not been treating each other, you know, with caring and kindness. There's been a lot of yelling. There's been a lot of um, name calling. There's been a lot of blame uh, and I think that how we can change the world is through through kindness. The thing that artists do is that, you know, when we reveal ourselves and when we reveal our souls, yeah. that is in many ways a very compassionate act because usually where we're coming from is a place of self-examination, a uh, place of healing, because we're trying to expose who we are so that if someone can take something from it so as to make them a better person, that's, you know, that's transformative. So I think if we all kind of start, uh, you know, the day going, let me, let, me, let me be more kind as I walk through this day. Let me be more caring as, uh, you know, as I spend this day out in the world. Let me think less about how I, you know, can service myself as opposed to how I can help others. And I think if we all kind of did that, mm -hmm. uh, we would, we would, the world would be a much, much better, much, much different place. But you are doing the right thing, all you and all the artists that are listening to this, uh, that when they put themselves out there, when they, when they do their art, when they go, I'm not gonna be fearful to tell my truth, that's, you know, telling your truth is kindness. You know, for the vast majority of folks, it, it is, you know, because our core is not to, to hate each other. Our core is not to be mean to each other. And I think with a revolution of kindness, because uh, at the end of the day, we all want to be loved. We all want to be hugged. We all want to be cared about. And I think if we, you know, if we do that, that's, that's how we can change the world. We can change the world by being kinder to each other. Yes, I can't say that myself, absolutely. Um, so. So my, my, next, my, my next question is, how does the George Floyd incident affect you? And, and, how, does, and how, does, uh, how do you deal, you know, deal, 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 you know with, with racism in America, you know, towards, you know, people like, 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 like actors like yourself? How do you deal with racism, you know? And how did the George Floyd incident affect you? Because I know that... If, if I know, well, I mean, the, the, the George Floyd incident was, um, uh, you know, it was eye-opening eye for, for a lot of people. I, I think that as, as a black male moving through through the world, it, it, it wasn't eye-opening in that I didn't know that that happened. I, we all know, you know, you know, those of us that are of a, a, of a certain hue understand that these things happen, have happened, uh, you know, ho hopefully won't continue to happen, but uh, have been happening mm -hmm. um, all the way back to Rodney King and before and stuff like that. And, and the unfortunate part is like, even when you show it and it's videotaped and you see it and everybody sees it and the reaction of some people is nah he he deserved it you're like what? that's that's not kindness that's yeah. again that's not kindness whatever he did before mm -hmm. did not justify eight minutes of a man's knee on his neck Absolutely. and when we all start to understand that doesn't that's not justified by by anything uh, again, that revolution of kindness and will, will change the world. So it, it affected me in that I said, you know what, you, you know, I was, I was happy that people protested and I wrote about it, you know, in, in, in my book and I'm happy that, you know, it was great to see people of all colors, um, come out and go, come on, no, 
just just come on people of all ages um people of all races come out to go come on just uh, no come on uh you know and all the backlash from you know black lives matter and that type of i think we'll all you know we'll all figure figure it out but i think the initial the initial reaction of people going come on it, this 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 can't be okay Okay. And there are forces that, you know, that be that would, you know, want to, you know, stay in power and want to maintain the status quo, but it can't, you can't, you can't look at that and go that, that status quo that allows that to happen needs to be maintained. Mm -hmm. So I believe that in the future, some things will hopefully will change. Um, so it, it, I think, again, what, what George Floyd did for me was made me go like everybody else, come on, mm -hmm. come on. We have to change and we have to change now. Yes. I, I definitely agree you know, cause that was just, you know, I'm so I'm upset about it. You know, cause I was, that could be, that could be you, it could be me, you know, cause you know, you know, these cops are you know, you know, outside you know, out of control, you know, and something, something has to be done. So you're right you now. Did, did you protest as well? Did you protest? Well, you, you know what, you, I, I, I didn't go outside and protest. Uh, but I stayed in, and like I said, during my book, I protested via my voice. Uh, again, I said, okay, what, what is it I can do to let people know how I feel? And, you know, my daily posts. So, so from George Floyd, you know, on, you know, 200 some odd straight days, I was on, you know, the Facebook, writing my book, letting people know my feelings. I was stirring it up with folks who agreed, who disagreed who uh, didn't believe this or didn't believe that. And so my voice was made, uh, was made clear. And, uh, you know, again, I believe I affected, you know, change in a way that I believed that I could. And so folks that went out there and protested, I think it was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad folks were wearing masks. I'm one of them. The, the, the fortunate, unfortunate part, I believe, is that because it was a pandemic, everybody was home there wasn't anything else to watch. There wasn't any other distractions. So everybody got a chance to see what happened to this man as opposed to watching the game. Yes. Everybody saw it. And everybody was cooped up and they said, enough, man. There's, you, you, you know, 20, if 2020 told us anything, it's like there's, there's inflection points. There's things that happen in life that sometimes the sun gets a little too hot and sometimes the wood gets a little too dry and spontaneous combustion happened. And mm -hmm. I think 2020 was a spontaneous combustion year where people were like, no, no, no more, no more, no more of these things. Uh, and people's, you know, voices were heard during the election. People's voices were heard, you know, protesting, you know, George Floyd and how he was murdered and a, 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 a better normal, a new normal that is better than the old normal has to be the, the result. I definitely agree. I do agree, yeah. So do you have, do you have any plans for, for, for Christmas, New Year's, any plans for, for, for the rest of the year? Say again? Oh, do you have any plans for, any plans for, Christmas, for Christmas, New Year's, or for the rest of the year? For 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 for, for, for the, the the Christmas season, any plans? Oh, sorry, can, can, can you hear me? Well, you know, you, you, no, I can I can hear you. Yeah, you, you know what? I am uh, I, I'm I'm here in in Los Angeles. I'm I'm not I'm not married. Don't have any kids. Uh, mm -hmm. So I I have two dogs. So I'm gonna dress them, you know, up as a couple of the reindeers. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know, my 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 sister and my niece and my uh, you know. A brother in law, they live on the east coast, and so unfortunately, I'm not gonna get a chance to go out and see them this year because of COVID with traveling stuff like that is, is, is gonna be is gonna be impossible. So, so yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook up a chicken on, on, on Christmas down. I'm gonna cook up a chicken, okay. I'm gonna make up some sweet potatoes. I think I'm gonna make up some, um, maybe a little cornbread. Uh, I'm gonna make up some mac and cheese. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna be around, I'm gonna be around for the holidays. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay safe. I'm gonna do what I can to to get to the other side of all the, the craziness that's, go, that's going on with, uh, with COVID. So I'm just gonna you know, pl play it smart and keep it close to home. I hear that. And then now, now, then now you, you, you say you have a family, you, you have a family on, on, on the East Coast. Is, is that Boston? Is that, 
Because I'm, 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 I'm lost my mouth. Off. You know what my, my you know I grew I grew like I said I grew up in Pennsylvania, uh, and my mom's people are from Maryland. So I would always spend holidays on the eastern shore of Maryland, where my mom's my mom my mom my, mom, my grandma. Um, my mom and pop pop. Those those are my <laughs> those are my people. My mom and pop pop uh, out there on the, the, the eastern shore of Maryland. Uh, so my sister, you know, my 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 mom and dad are you know up there. So I'm gonna give them love. I'm almost up yeah. in heaven. Got to got to point out to them. Yeah. Uh, and so my sister's still in Maryland. Okay. And so uh, so that's that's where my so I'm out here in California on my own, man. I'm surfing. I'm doing California stuff. I'm doing yoga. Mm -hmm. I'm new age. <laughs> so, but my sister and, and, you know, her family out in Maryland. So I'm going to say hi. Hi, Lori. Hi, you know, little Madeline. That's my niece. Hi, Roger. Hello, hello East Coast. The beautiful thing is, um, you know, I went to high school, you know, high school outside of Chicago. Mm -hmm. So you talk about cold, man. Cold. Yeah. You know, when it's like, okay, it's going to be 14 below, but it's going to feel like 40 below. I'm like, okay. So once I graduated from high school, I'm like, if I'm ever cold again, it'll be too soon. So I like, I like, I like the warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> California is cool by me. Okay, me too. Because I feel because I'm because I wish I was down there with you right now. Because I don't like being in Boston. It was so cold though. So you know, and so I it's cold. God bless you, man. B bundle up. God bless you, everybody out there in the cold. Mm -hmm. Bless you. It was seventy something today, oh, and yes. I was outside being warm. It was beautiful. Yeah, I wish I. Was I hear. I wish I was down there with you right now. I, I, <laughs> my mom's up in heaven too, you know. So you know, and it's funny how you said it. Funny you said it because because we, because I was actually the 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 in Florida, you know, a couple years ago. My mom in Tampa, then she passed away. And I, Pass away of a heart attack, so I had to come up to Boston and leave my family because I couldn't stay in Florida. It was warm, you know. And I, trust me, I did not want to go. Trust me, I wanted to stay down there, you know. I don't like the cold weather, you know, so you know. That's what you. Know, you know, love, love, love to our people. Love to our people. Yeah, I hear you. And so, 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 so you said you, you, you used to be by yourself for, 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 for the holiday show? Well, you know what, you know, I, I have, uh, you have a housemate, a friend of mine who uh, went to school with me at Irvine, okay. uh, you know, he's a housemate, he's also, a, you know, a writer. And so we have a couple of projects that we're going to come out with in, you know, 2021. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing is that I have a number of my friends are, are very, very, very talented actors and writers. Uh, and artists and performers. And so I have a number of fantastic people that I can collaborate on scripts and on projects. Um, and again, you talk about, you know, if, if you say, hey, what's, what's, you know, some advice, you know, for yourself and for other people out there that are trying to be artists, put together an amazing team, put together an amazing team of enthusiastic people, of bright people, of, of people that are smarter than you, everybody around me, is more talented, <laughs> you're better looking, uh, you're better actors, better, you know, better writers, surround yourself with amazing people and you can't help but, uh, <laughs> you know, cherry pick all of their great ideas and call them yours, <laughs> you know? And so those people will become, you know, your, your creative partners, your, your lab rats, the people that, you know, you bounce stuff off of, you know, Hollywood acting, being an artist, in many ways it can be collaborative mm -hmm. and you don't have to do it all yourself. There's people that want to help you, that want to succeed, that want to see you succeed. Yeah. And when you find those people, you know, keep them, keep them close and uh, keep them in your corner and, you know, keep inspiring them the same way they inspire you to keep creating. Because you know we we you know we've all been given gifts, yeah. and if we surround ourselves with people whose gifts connect, we can create. We can, there's nothing we can't create. We can't we can't help but succeed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If our intentions are 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 good and fair mm -hmm. and kind, we can't we can't help but succeed. Yes. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, so. Like I said, so I'm definitely down, you know. So if, you know, if you if you if you're looking for a producer to write music or songs, we can, my producer Don Poole and I would definitely be down to come down and meet you, so, you know. So we'll, you know, so we can help you, you know. We got that, you know. So I so, uh, look for the hope to meet you some, sometime soon, you know. But you know, Boston and the East Coast, we can definitely make it happen. So you know, and yeah, exactly, yeah. 
I'm definitely down, you know, because, you know, I want to try and help people. That's why I got my show notes. I can help people, bring people together, help them out, and make it. I want to see us all happy, you know. So I'm kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of glad to let a, 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 a success, you know, so be. And like I said, yeah, no, yeah, because because again, we we you know we're all we're all here to here to help each other. Yes. Um. You know, I'm a big believer that 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 the pie is big enough. There's enough pieces of the pie yes. for everybody. Mm -hmm. And when folks start to hoard, start to you know keep it for themselves, you know, be like Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, that's that that's not what we were put on this earth. We weren't put on this earth to hoard. We were put on this earth to, you know, expand and to give. Yes. Uh, and there's there's enough for everybody, and that's why I go. You know what? If we start with the idea that, hey, how can I help you? How can I? What's going on with you? What do, What do you need? It's the holidays. How? You know, how can I help? Yes. What What do you need? Mm -hmm. um, because you know, my mom, who again, mm -hmm. she she always said that you will be led to that which is yours. Yes. And you will be led to that which is yours. And I believe that we all have, you know, our gifts coming. Mm -hmm. We all have great things coming. So we don't have to hoard anything. We don't have to, you know, think that, you know, the abundance that we were promised is going to stop at any point. We, we, can, give, we can give stuff away um, and it will return to us. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's important that we, that we help and we share and when we come from that place, especially as as artists, that's what we do, man. As artists, that's what we do. We share. You say, you know what? I have a gift, and I have to show it. I have to sing. I have to act. I have to perform. I have to write. That's what that's what we do. Artists are by nature unselfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we're giving. We're putting it out there, and um, and what you give will come back tenfold. You just have to believe, and it and it's it's never not. I've, one of the lessons I've learned is that working with Robert Townsend, working with all the people from one on one, working with, you know, the people from between brothers, working with all the different shows I've done is that when you give and you, when you put it out there and your soul is spirit is, is, is opening and welcome. It, so much more will come back. Advice, creativity, help, um, love, caring, generosity, money, all that will come, it will come back tenfold and so you know just come from a place of caring helping loving accepting yeah i guess i guess it's better, better myself yeah you know, better myself i, I have to figure you know because because like i'm 41 now so i'm I gonna make a move make a rule too you know because i'm saying because like i'm single too no, no no kids now so i think now now it's time to make you more you know <laughs> so well, yeah. I mean, again, like I said, man, it's you know, it's 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 your time only because you decide that it's your time. You you're not late. You you haven't you know you haven't wasted anything. You you know don't think of it that way. Um, you, you're ready when you're ready, and you know the time before this is not wasted time. You were just you were marinating. You were preparing. You were <laughs> you know the sauce has to, has to get just right. So don't 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 look at it as if oh man. I wasted all that time. No, man, it's it's all of that is is seasoning to the stew. Okay. So look at it that way, and 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 you know, go after it whenever you're ready to go after it, man. You know. Yeah, because I feel I'm, I'm I'm definitely ready now. So I'm ready now, you know, since I'm up now, since I'm ready to make something happen. You know, so, so I make a card now. So I'm looking right now for sure. He said, "Which episode I'm to make sure I can help people like myself, you know, and people, you know." So I get that that's a bargain, you know. So you know. Anyway, if we're here to help each other, right, and support each other, because that's what we need now, especially now, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, what do you see? So, so what do you see yourself doing? You to, to do uh, uh, ten years from now, ten years from now, down, uh, down the line, you know. Where, 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 do, where do I see myself down the line? Oh yeah, ten years from now, ten years from now. Mm -hmm. like, ten, like ten years from now? Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's like a job interview. Uh, I should put, you know, do I need to get a tie on? Is this a job? <laughs> uh, you, you know what? Look, I'm in 10 years from now, I will be doing a number of the same things I'm doing now. I'll be acting, I'll be writing, I'll be producing, uh, you know, on a higher level. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, being uh, like the, the Kelly Perrine show, uh, my own comedy show. I'm looking forward to. 
you know, being the lead in movies mm -hmm. and that type of thing. Uh, I'm going to continue writing. The, be the beautiful thing is that what I'm doing right now mm -hmm. um, is what I want to be doing in 10 years. Yes. The, 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 it's, it's just a question of degree. Mm -hmm. the, the projects will be that much bigger. But, but I won't be putting you know, any more effort into it than I am now because I, my belief is that if, if I'm given a crumb, I'm going to make a meal out of it, <laughs> you know? And in 10 years, some of the crumbs will be bigger and I'm going to make a meal out of them too. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You, you know, but I'm just, I'm going to keep writing. I'm going to keep, you know, the, the, the thing I'm looking forward to the most too is in 10 years, um, as my star rises, I'll be able to bring up some of, you know, some of my friends mm -hmm. and I will help them uh, get to the next level. And I will be able to, uh, can you hear my dogs? Yeah, yeah we got dogs. In fact, as I said, those are my babies. Those, you know, mm -hmm. Dancer and Blitzen, my two reindeer dogs. <laughs> yeah. But I will be able to, in the future, bring, hold on for two seconds, I'm gonna close this one. And I'm back. Sure. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be able to, in the future, you know, bring some people that I know are talented mm -hmm. uh, and deserve a break. I'll be able to bring them along with me and get them to the place where they, they need to be. So that's what I talked about, about, you know, helping others. I, I want to be in a position in 10 years where I can help people that I know are amazingly talented who haven't got the opportunities that they need and they deserve. That's, that's where I hope I'm at in 10 years. Oh yeah, me too. And so, so, so how can we support you? What can we do to support you? So, 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 so we, I just we make sure make sure that that your style rises and we can help you get to the top. You know, so we can rise again. How can we support you so I, just so we can support each other? You know, what can we do to support you? Well, I, you know, whenever whenever somebody watches one of my shows and laughs, that's you know that's supporting me. That's the universe understands that. The universe the universe knows that. You know. Uh, if it wasn't for, you know, my fans and people that watch the shows, you know, you can go, you know, follow me at, on, on Instagram at, Ke you know, Kelly Perrine, P-E-R-I-N-E. You can follow me there. Um, so whenever people, you know, follow and say, hey, man, I like what you're doing. Keep doing it. Th that lifts me up. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, to, you know, look, I, I like the fact that people are enjoying what I do. I want to make people laugh and I want to... I have been so blessed mm -hmm. that when people go, hey, man, you know what? I grew up watching you. Mm -hmm. And I go, what? You know, because I'm like, I ain't old, but I, but I guess, <laughs> but I guess, I guess so. I guess people have been watching me for, uh, you know, a number, a number of years. And so whenever someone goes, hey, man, you know what? Because my show is now on Netflix and they go, I grew up watching you and now my kids are watching you. And, you know, we appreciate what you do. And I go, hey, look, I appreciate you watching mm -hmm. because, you know, without, you know, you, people writing letters uh, into the shows and watching it, you know, I, that's, you know, you have to have an audience. And I, and I thank people for continuing to support what it is I do. Yeah, because I, yeah, because I, like I said, I grew up watching you on my, on my life. And so I'm glad to have you on the show. <laughs> you inspired me from, from seeing you on TV. And I was like, wow. I mean, if I talk to that guy, that'd be a blessing. So now I'm talking to you, it's like it's a blessing, you know, because I feel that God brought us, God brought us together, you know. So it's a blessing to have you on my show, you know, and and maybe I can talk to you if you help me. I definitely appreciate it. Well, I appreciate, I appreciate that. So yeah, definitely. You know. Yeah. So I, could, I mean, so yeah. So I mean, this was a fun interview. I mean, I'm so glad I was able to meet you. And um, so okay, so I guess um, before we go, um, uh, any final words you want to say to your, to your fans, to me, your viewers, you know, that support you. Hey, you know what? I just I, I just want to say thank thank you so much. You know, because I know we, we've been tr going back and forth. I'm glad we can finally can finally make this happen. Um, you, you know, to you, all the the fans, the aspiring artists out there. Look, man, go after go after your dreams because there's nothing worse than you know. You talk about ten years down the road, ten years down the road, going. You know, I woulda, I shoulda, I coulda. Don't do don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Go after your dreams. Follow your dreams. The books are written by and about people who followed their dreams, not people who decided to take the safe route. Um, as far as I know, this is our one go round. 
So mm -hmm. let's 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 make it special. Mm -hmm. Let's let's make it special. And I, you know, whoever you believe in, they will they will watch over you mm -hmm. if you follow your dream. They will they will watch over you. Believe that. Believe in yourself. And um, keep watching. Love you all. Absolutely. I definitely appreciate your time. You know, and I will send this in to you right now so you can share it with people you know, say that you're on my show, you know, and hopefully you can stay in touch, you know. So if you said, if you're kind of boss, and, you know, I'll definitely get the down to meet you, you know, and I'm trying to find a club for you. Hey, man, when, when the pandemic's over, I'm going to come to Boston. You're going you're gonna to feed me. Come on now. I, I, I promise. <laughs> okay, come. They come to my house, you stay at my house, you stay at my place, okay? I'll, I'll take care of you, show you on Boston, Fiji, you know, so. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank All right, everybody. You guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for this, man. I loved it. I love you too, and I'll stay in touch with you, okay? Appreciate it. Much love. Take care.